Hi, welcome to Crystal's Diamond Painting. I'm Crystal. It's really great to see you guys today. Hopefully this video will find everyone doing really well. Um, if you're new to the channel, thank you for coming. Hopefully you'll decide to subscribe and stay. Hit the notification bell. For all the rest of you that have stuck around and stuck with me through thick and thin, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Please hit the thumbs up. All right, today I want to do an unboxing of Diamond Art Club stuff. But before I do, I want to mention the giveaway stuff from Wilson's 3D Design. Let me get, go ahead and grab that. Okay, we have the phone stand, which is lovely purple. Okay, it's really pretty. Not to mention really helpful. Um, like when you're doing your diamond art, it's really nice to have it up there. It's compact and takes up a little bit of space. It's not, you know, all over the place. It's really nice. Um, and then we have the chocolate colored um, pegboard tray, which is really awesome. So, yeah. So anyways, there's that. And then look for the keyword in today's video. And we will go from there. So, uh, real quick, I want to do a real fast announcement about last giveaway I did with the Lays and Lathe Work Pen. Um, Sue Little was our winner, and um, I messaged Miss Sue Little, um, or Mr. Sue Little, I, I don't want to assume anything, but anyways, I messaged Sue Little um, about two weeks ago, letting them know that they were the winner. I have yet to receive any kind of notification back from that person. I went ahead and let that person know that um, in two weeks time we'll be doing a backup name drawing um, for that pen uh, based upon our original names that we had. So Sue Little, if you get this, if you see this, please message me and let me know because I would hate to pass you up and pass it on to someone else. But at the same time, I, I can't just let it sit here. I gotta, gotta give it a new home. So. Um, just keep that in mind, everyone from here on out, like there's a month time from when we end the drawing and I announce the winner that you have to claim the prize. So, okay. Anyways, let's get down to the table, shall we? Yes, we shall. All right, hold on. Okay, beep. So we're on the table and we're ready to go. So as you can see, the box has this awesome holographic shine to it. Um, always want to show that to you kind of like their trade, one of their trademarks. Um, the round symbol tells us it's round instead of square and the color being pink instead of blue tells us it's round. The kit has everything you need to do a diamond painting. You need absolutely nothing else. It is nice to have other things. Light pads are awesome, but not necessary. Um, so anyways, the back of the box will tell you what is in here. It also tells you how it works. You're going to peel back the film that protects the canvas. You're going to identify a color and the symbol. You're going to match them up. You're going to put the wax in the pen, put the drills in the tray, pick up the drills with your pen, and place them on the corresponding spot on the canvas. And your picture will emerge. Okay. Moving on. Get the box open. All right. So inside the kit, um, there is a little sticker and a big sticker, which I'm going to set aside and we will look at after we look at the actual canvas. And then um, the drills we will look at a little bit later as well. But let's go through this first. So in each kit, you will find a tray that has two wax patties. They're usually in heart shapes if they're from Diamond Art Club. Other companies do different shapes. A four placer, which goes on the end of your pen, um, your single placer pen, a squishy, and some baggies. Okay? All standard stuff that you need. You can use the baggies either kit up or kit down. Um, and by that I mean store your drills while you're doing your diamond painting or store them after you're done with them or both. Um, some people do both. Sorry, got a little bit of wax on my table. Anyway, sorry about that, peeps. I had something I had to do real quick. Um, let's get to the canvas. So it is super soft. That's one of the amazing things about Diamond Art Club. Really love that about it. Lays flat pretty quick and easily. Um, shape, it just folds really easily. 
Um, the edges are scalloped and serged to keep it from fraying, which is really nice. And what else can I say? Oh yeah, the canvas has a special sparkle to it, which is pretty cool. And I am just rolling this backwards. You don't want to do that with a double-sided adhesive, but you are good doing that on a poured glue. So real quick, let me fold that back. All right. Now this one is not small, um, not by any means small, but it is nowhere near um, a big one, especially like my beast one or anything like that. So, but anyways, are you ready for it? One, two, three, go. Isn't that awesome? All right, that is the world. It is beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay, another thing about Diamond Art Club, they have keys on both sides of the canvases. So that's nice. Um, let's see, there are 41 colors in this particular one, which I have to say is fairly impressive for how small it is. 41 colors, it's actually quite a bit. And there's a lot of color blocking in here with the water, um, quite a bit of it. Yeah. So that should give you my fill on color blocking. And then in here, this should work up pretty fast. This is this is one of the smaller ones that I've done, I've had. Um, this is a 59 centimeter by 42 centimeter. And let's grab this. Forty-one and a half, almost forty-two, and then fifty-nine, almost exact. Okay, so that's pretty spot on. Let's look at the key, shall we? All right. As you can see, it's pretty clear. I don't see anything that would be a problem. Nope. Looks good. Okay, let's look at the drill field, shall we? It's really clear. Okay. I should probably check the stick real quick. Good stick. Okay. Looks like. Who is that really? Three ABs? Ooh. I say. Okay. Well, let's look at the stickers real fast. So the big sticker first has a picture of the canvas, um, all of the information, sorry, it was upside down there, all the information that you need about the canvas. Um, this is the world map, and by the way, that's by Michael Tromset. I don't, say, I don't know if I spelled his, said his name right. Um, and then it tells you the shape, uh, the, the size, and the skew number and everything. Now, over here you have all these little stickers. These little stickers are great for kitting up, um, but before I take them off and kit them up, I do take a photocopy of them and uh, make them into a sticker and put them in my log book, which is where I put this. Um, so I keep them together. That way I have them to reference later when I cut the key chart off of the canvas. So, but anyways, there's that one. And then the small stickers, some people make magnets out of them and put them on their fridge. Some people um, put them on the front of their storage containers like I do. Some people make cover minders out of them like uh, Painting with Grace, Grace does. Um, check her out if you wanna see how to make a cover minder out of that. And then each um, 
kit always comes with an instruction booklet, which has an instruction manual for everyone in case you have giving it to someone who doesn't know how to do it or you've never done it yourself. There's also a thank you 10 inside for a 10% off code. Um, obviously, you don't have to wait to get one to use the thank you 10. Um, you can just go ahead and do that. So anyways, yeah. And put that there. All right, let's look at these bills. Oh, this is so small. <laughs> I'm not used to them being this small. Um, the bags are labeled. That way, if you keep your drills separate, you can go ahead and find them without it being a problem. I do keep mine separate, so I like that. Okay, there's a lot of this color, so I'm assuming these are a lot of the ocean, would be my guess. These are all the same color for my part. And this one's a little different. There's three colors in this whole thing. Those three are that color. And then all those are that one. My goodness. That's going to be... Yeah. And then here's the world. Isn't the world colorful? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So excited. All these colors. Aren't they pretty? Oh, there's a whole other row of them. There's an AB. Soft pink. Greeny color. Wow, that sparkle. There's another 80. Hot blue. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I am. Super uber excited about this. Okay, let's figure out real quick which ones are which. We've got 136, which is our hashtag blue. Um, then we've got the green number two, which is 135, and the pink number one. So let's see. Our keyword is travel. Okay, so number ones are the pinks and they are in the few up in here. Here, there, there. A few up in here. There are some ones down here. Here. 
Down here is a big patch of them. Let's see. The big patch right over here. A few up here, a few here. Um, looks like that's it for the light pink ABs. Now the green ABs, there's some here. A little patch of them, can you see that light green right there? That light green is that patch. The light green patch down here. Um, there's some right here, a couple. A couple along here and here and down in here. There's a couple here, here. A whole bunch down here and here. Um, there's some over in here. There's a few in here. Here. Looks like one there. Okay. The blue sparkly ABs. Looks like it's this island here. Here, here. All dotted throughout here and here and here and here and here. Throughout here. I don't know if I said that already. And then this is all clear of it. And then there's some here, some here. Um, there's some down in here. There's some over in here, some here and here, a whole bunch up in here, some here and here and here. Okay. Yeah. Wow. This is gonna be so pretty when it's done. All the different colors everywhere. Like, oh my gosh, I I, I kind of want to work on it right now. Um, like, I really, really do. But anyways, peeps, there she is. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed showing this to you guys. I I think that it's gonna be absolutely fabulous once it gets worked up. The colors are just amazing just all these different colors just all these colors look at all the colors like there's 41 colors here and this is a small painting i mean it's not small small but it's it's small it's only 59 by 42. um it's twice the size of the ones that i i started off with I'll give you that, but it's small compared to like my great big beast one or some of my other bigger pieces, even, even the regular Chuck Pinson's, um, space for reflection, um, is, you know, I don't know, uh, quite a bit bigger. So, but anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for sticking it out with me. I hope to see you in the next one and much love and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.